Hey guys, it's Sarah. So today's video is going to be an in-depth look at my lip product collection. This is definitely the largest part of my makeup collection. I love trying different lipstick formulas and colors. It's kind of my weakness, you know? When I recently posted my full makeup collection video, I wasn't able to go very in-depth into my lipsticks just because I do have quite a few. And so uh, one person said, oh, now I can't wait to see uh, a, a lipstick collection tour. And I was like, you got it. <laughs> so um, we are just gonna swatch everything. This is how I have my lipsticks stored. So I have glosses, nude lipsticks, red lipsticks, and then other bold colors. So let's start with the glosses. So these are my glosses and then I have one tinted lip balm in this category as well. So this is that tinted lip balm. This is the e.l.f. Gotta Glow Lip Tint in Perfect Berry. I really like this color. It is sort of like a dark purple when you first put it on, but it sort of adjusts to the shade of your lips into your perfect berry. So that's not really a gloss, but I kind of include it in that category of kind of like sheer lip colors. So this is one of my favorites, the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Soft Rose. This is a pretty pigmented gloss formula, as you can see. It's just a really beautiful color. This is kind of like a my lips but better color in the most literal sense because it is actually the same color as my lips. So um, it's I've, I've described it as a BB cream for my lips and um, I think that's that's the best way I can think to describe it because it makes my lips just look so perfected and smooth and uh, a little bit plump. I love the scent of this. It kind of smells like mint chocolate, which I love. So that is a favorite for sure. And this is kind of a less sticky gloss formula in my opinion. Then I have this Dose of Colors gloss in the shade On Repeat. This is kind of similar to the Milani one as far as opacity. And wow, that color actually looks very similar, doesn't it? This is a little bit more peachy beige and the Milani one is a little bit more of a dusty rose but they are, they are pretty similar. And I think the formula is quite similar too. I really do like that gloss. Then I have this one from Clove and Hallow in the shade Angelic. They recently sent me a few of their products and I have been loving them. But this is kind of a nude light pink and I really like this shade too. This is kind of a thin formula, but I feel like it sticks around on my lips for a while and um, it's just a beautiful color. This is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Pink Cosmo. This is sort of a milky baby pink. I don't love the taste of this one. This is a lot more sheer than some of these other ones, but it is a really nice formula. Um, like I said, I just don't love the flavor of this. It sort of has a menthol type of taste to it, probably to make it sort of like a lip plumping feeling gloss, but I do really like the color of that one. And then this is such a beautiful color, the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Champagne Mommy. It's a really peachy rose gold color, also a little bit more on the sheer side but it is beautiful. The only thing I don't like about this is the brush applicator. I would much prefer a doe foot, but I still like the formula and the color. This is one of the e.l.f. tinted lip oils in the shade Raspberry Truffle Kiss. So it's a little bit of a different formula than a gloss, but I find that it looks very similar to a gloss on my lips. It is kind of a dark color for a lip gloss, so you do have to be a little bit careful with it, but it's just such a pretty color that I don't really have elsewhere in my collection, so I've held on to it just because I, I really like that kind of brick red color. It's really pretty for fall. And this last one is a sparkling lip topper from Profusion in the shade Frolic. This came in a lip set, and this is the only thing I kept from that set. I decluttered everything else. It's really a topper. It's not a gloss, and I think it's actually designed to go on top of a liquid lipstick, so it doesn't have a very like goopy, glossy texture to it. It's very thin with just these little shimmers kind of suspended in it. It definitely does give a nice shine to your lips without really looking like you're wearing glitter on your lips unless you're looking up really close. So yeah, I don't wear that super often, but I mean, I've held on to it just because it's the only thing like it that I have. So those are all of my glosses and they are so pretty. I love lip gloss. Okay, so next we have my nude lipsticks. I do have three nude lip liners. One of them I literally just bought like two days ago. But I have this one from Urban Decay in the shade Manic. It's kind of a rosy nude. 
Then I have Elf's Dusty Rose, which is quite similar to the Urban Decay one, just maybe a little bit lighter. I do feel like it has a different effect on my lips though than the Urban Decay. And then this one I just purchased, the Jordana Draw the Line Lip Liner in Rock and Rose. Um, I also used to love the shade Tawny. This used to be called their Easy Liner for Lips, but they recently changed the name. And I like how they've kind of updated the packaging. It does look a lot cuter than it used to. I actually found this at my local Walgreens, and I found that they actually have a store locator on, on their website. So um, if you want to see if you have Jordana anywhere near you, you can check there. But I was really excited to actually be able to find some of their products in stores. This is a little bit more of a brownie nude than those two. All right, then I have a couple of sort of jumbo lip crayons. This is Elf's Matte Lip Color in Tea Rose. It's kind of a cool, almost purpley nude. Then I have this Burt's Bees Gloss Lip Crayon in Santorini Sunrise. This is very peachy, and I really like the formula. It's very creamy. And like it says, it is it has have a little bit of a glossy sheen to it. I love when lipsticks have kind of almost a lip gloss feel to them. It's one of my favorite types of lip formulas. I do have this iconic one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Pillow Talk. Um, a very kind subscriber actually sent this to me. Just a really classic dusty pink nude. It's like the perfect combination of like pink and mauve and brown, but like it's not too much of anything. Just really pretty, and it is a great formula. It's kind of a thin yet creamy formula. It stays on your lips for a long time. It fades really gracefully. Just a really good product. This is from the brand Axiology in the shade Loyalty. This has kind of an interesting packaging, so you just kind of press it up and pull it out. Axiology is known for their recyclable tubes. It's actually kind of similar to Pillow Talk, but a little bit more pink. And it does have a little bit of a satin sheen to it. Then I have one of the CoverGirl cream lipsticks in the shade Honeyed Bloom. This is a very nice creamy formula. I really need to reach for this more. So creamy. There's no shimmer in there, but it still has a little bit of a glossy sheen to it. Just a very comfortable formula. This is one of my favorite formulas, the Red Apple Lipstick. I have the shade Beachside. This is currently in my project pan. The only problem is it's a very soft lipstick formula, and so it has kind of started to lean a little bit. But that could also just be because I've had this for a long time, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it got too warm in my apartment or something, but this is a very tan nude, and that is a very pretty glossy formula. Um, it almost looks like you're wearing a gloss and it's just super comfortable. I love that one. This is from Wet n Wild. I do have a few Wet n Wild and Physicians Formula lipsticks still in my collection. Both of the brands have lost their cruelty-free status, but I have kept them just to kind of try to use them up since I already have them. But this is the shade Never Nude, and this was actually in my project pan for a few months. It is a really nice nude color. I really like this color. It's kind of a peachy brownish pinkish nude. It's a really nice undertone for my skin tone, and I like that it's kind of a light nude for me. And then the only nude liquid lipstick I have is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip in Buttercream Frosting. This is like as light as I could go with nude before it turns into like concealer lips kind of thing, but it is a really pretty light pink nude. It's definitely a classic liquid lip type of formula that does dry down and it does become pretty transfer proof so it can be a little bit drying. I actually like topping this with a gloss. I feel like it just um, makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear but I really like the color of that. I kind of wish I had that color in like a creamier bullet lipstick formula. So yeah those are all of my nudes and I feel like I have a good variety here. Like I have some more peachy ones, some more like baby pink ones. They all work really well for my lip color. So next we have my favorite color of lipstick, which is red. I love red lipstick. I just think it's such a classic and timeless color. So I do have one red lip liner. This is from Milani in the shade True Red. I've had this for a very long time. 
but it is just a classic blue-based red. And I do think it's good to have a red lip liner because you do want to be really precise whenever you're wearing a red lipstick. So I do have one jumbo crayon in this category. This is also from Axiology in the shade Vibration. My arm's a little bit stained, but I think you can still kind of get the idea here. This is more of a sheer, kind of warm red. And this also does have kind of that satin sheen to it, like at least all the Axiology lipsticks that I've tried. But I do like that that is kind of a sheer red. It's nice to have. And then while we're on Axiology, I also have one of their bullet lipsticks in the shade Clarity. They did send these to me a while ago. Um, and this one too has sort of that interesting satin sheen to it. But that is just a little bit deeper than Vibration. This Axiology formula is kind of thin, but in a good way. It's creamy, but it, it only deposits like enough color to show up on your lips. It's not like super thick or anything, so I kind of like that. Then I have this one from Madame Glam. They sent me a bunch of their lipsticks a while ago. I don't think they still sell their lipstick. This brand is actually mostly known for like their gel nail polishes, but I do like their lipsticks. This is the shade Cherry Wine, and this is one of their matte lipsticks. It's a very deep kind of vampy red, great for the holidays. This is like a classic blue toned red from NYX. I think it's called their creamy round lipstick. I don't know, something kind of funny, but it's, um, this is the shade Chaos. This is like a $4 lipstick. It is super creamy. I almost wish it was a little bit of a drier formula just so that it, so that I didn't have to worry about it kind of like drifting outside my lip line, but it's fine as long as it's with a lip liner. But that is a very classic retro kind of red. This is more of a berry red. This is from the brand Terramare, and this is their matte lipstick in Napa Valley. I've had this for a very long time. This is one of my favorite lip colors and formulas. Um, it's just really beautiful and creamy, and that color is very unique. Just like this beautiful berry red. It's perfect for so many occasions. And then I have three red liquid lipsticks. This is a favorite of mine. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream in Mango Sorbet. Again, it's really the color that I love. The formula of this is fine, like I said, but it is that kind of classic sort of dry liquid lipstick. But the orangey red, this is so beautiful for summer. Oh, it's just so vibrant and pretty. I used this in my full face of like favorite products video. And oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. Another kind of warm red is this one from Cloven Hallow in the shade Fiesta. It's a little bit darker than the Jordana one. A little bit more red than orange, but it is still a beautiful warm red. And finally, this is one of my Physicians Formula lipsticks. I do really like this formula. I'm very sad that they are no longer cruelty free, but this is the shade Tulip Treatment and it's like a watermelon red. This is a very comfortable liquid lipstick formula because um, it doesn't like fully dry down and it does feel a little bit less dry than like the Jordana one. So this was like my favorite liquid lipstick formula until they lost their cruelty free status. But that color is so beautiful, just so pretty. Those are all of my reds, quite a variety here. This is definitely my favorite category of lipstick. And then finally, these are just my other bold lipsticks that are not red. <laughs> kind of just the catch-all category for those. So I have some berries, some pinks, a purple, just all kinds of colors in here. So this is the only lip liner in this category. This is the Jordana Easy Liner in Plush Plum. This is kind of the old name and design of these lip liners, but that is kind of a deep burgundy color, really pretty. I think I'm gonna try to swatch these on my other arm. These are gonna be left-handed swatches, but I will try my very best to make this bearable. So we'll start with kind of pinky colors. Um, a couple more Madame Glam ones. This is their Velvet formula. Again, I don't think they sell these anymore, but this is the shade Pucker Up, which is like a very bright coral pink. I really like this Velvet formula. It is kind of, um, creamy and a little bit glossy, very comfortable. Then I have the shade Mad Hatter, which is like a baby Barbie pink, very, very different from what I no normally go for, but I do like pairing that with a slightly deeper lip liner. 
it can be kind of pretty, just very different. I'll go ahead and swatch the last Madame Glam one that I have. This is the shade Fig. This is my favorite of theirs. It's sort of like a popsicle berry. Really pretty. That's great for kind of the holiday time. <laughs> the holiday time. That's great for around the holidays. I definitely do kind of select my lipsticks according to the seasons. Like there are some of these that I never wear outside of certain seasons. Like this one, this really dark plum, I only wear in the fall and maybe the winter. But like you would not catch me wearing this in the summer. There's no way. All right, so back to my pinks. I do have this one from Wet n Wild in Don't Blink Pink. This is a very hot pink. It does kind of stain my lips a little bit, so I don't wear it super often, but it is a very fun color. I think I wore this on Valentine's Day this year. It was really good for a Valentine's Day lip. Another hot pink I have, I do like this formula better. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Flirty and Fabulous. It is a little bit more of a sheer formula and it's very comfortable. Hey, these left-handed swatches are not half bad. Not perfect, but they're better than I expected. That one is a little bit more cool toned than the Wet n Wild Don't Blink Pink one. But I have to say, I like that e.l.f. one a little bit better formula-wise and color-wise too. Really having to like bend my arm backwards for this. I just, my red arm is very stained right now, so. Then I have this pink liquid lip from Ofra. All the writing has worn off. This is their old liquid lipstick packaging. This is the shade Laguna Beach, although you can't tell <laughs> by looking at it. Um, but they, I think they described this as a strawberry pink, which I think is pretty accurate. It's very pretty. It is a little bit more of a nude pink than some of these other ones, especially in comparison to like a hot pink. But when I do wear it on my lips, it definitely is more of a pink than a nude. Oh, I was not born to be left-handed. Then for some purple lipsticks, I have another one from Wet n Wild. I used to really like this like $2 lipstick formula. It is kind of a matte formula. This is the shade Violet's Kiss. True purple there. But I don't have anything else like that in my collection. And it is pretty, although I have to say I don't wear it very often, but I really should wear that soon. All right, this is kind of a berry color from e.l.f. This, this shade is Berry Sorbet. It's another one of their matte lip colors. I really like these kind of jumbo crayons from e.l.f. Definitely more of a berry than that wet n wild purple color you can see. This is the last of my Physicians Formula lip products. This is their Healthy Lip in Noirishing Plum. It's kind of a pun. It's like N-O-I-R, noirishing. Um, their names are kind of silly, but this one I don't love just because it's it's so dark that it's hard not to get this one to go on your lips looking kind of patchy. And the way that it wears off is not very graceful. The lighter and brighter colors in this line I find a little bit easier to wear, but I kept it just because it is such a unique color to my collection. My favorite way to wear this is with this Jordana Plush Plum lip liner underneath. I find that it goes on a lot smoother with that underneath. And finally I have this really deep kind of chocolatey brown from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Mocha Licious. I think um, Raw Beauty Christie really likes this shade. I honestly don't love this shade on myself, but I've kept it just because it's the only thing I have quite like it. But it is so brown. It's very much like a 90s brown. I could have kept this in my nude category, but I do sort of look at this as more of a bold color just because it's quite dark on my skin tone. But for some people, this would be more of a nude. So those are my non-red bold lipsticks.